Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the OPI and Barbie the Movie Collection. I'm sure that you noticed that my voice sounds absolutely horrible. So sorry. I actually have a bit of a cold, but I didn't want to delay in getting this video out. So we're just going to have to deal with my horrible sounding voice for now. Like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at the OPI and Barbie the Movie Collection. This movie releases sometime in July, and I think this collection's official release date is July 1st. So I did manage to get my hands on it early, and I was just really excited to review it for you guys. We have nine pieces to look at, so let's go ahead and get right into the swatches. All right, first up we have Bon Voyage to Reality, and this one is kind of like an off-white. It's not exactly white, but it, I would say maybe it's like the palest pink ever. It actually kind of reminds me of Let's Be Friends from the Hello Kitty collection, which it's a white, but there's kind of a little more to it. That's how I feel about this one. So I actually needed three coats to get full opacity here, but... It doesn't mean that the formula is bad because it wasn't. It was actually very easy to use. The coats were very easy to apply. I didn't have any issues. My nails have grown a bit here, so they're not as super short as they used to be. So I feel like maybe if they were still really short, I could get away with just two coats, maybe two thicker coats. But because they're a little bit longer, I did need that third coat. Again, three coats doesn't mean that a formula is bad. It's just sometimes some polishes need it. Do I feel like a polish like this should have needed three coats? Not necessarily, but that's what we've got. <laughs> Next up, we've got My Job is Beach, and I'm sorry, but I don't have any official descriptions for these. I look for them online and can't find anything yet. This one has a really nice formula. I only needed two coats to get full opacity here, and it was really easy to use, so the formula on this one is perfect, and it does look like a swimming pool, so definitely a great summer color. But I do wish that we would have seen something a little bit different besides just a cream. So I kind of wish that this one had had some glitter or something like that. I don't know. I, I just wanted to go. I wanted OPI to go over the top for Barbie. And I feel like just doing plain creams, especially that first one. Um, I don't know. Just wasn't it for me. Next up, we've got Yay Space. And this one, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, not my favorite at all. It's kind of a frosty polish, and OPI has done a lot of these in the past. I am putting it over my job as the beach, and I feel like that's how it looks the best. This is really, really pretty over that blue. I am going to show it to you on its own, though, so that you can see that these kinds of polishes rarely ever build up on the nails so i just don't understand why opi continues to make these this is one coat and as you can see it's super sheer i only did two coats pretty much for time's sake but yeah on the second coat it still doesn't completely cover the nail but you do get a little bit more of the blue color uh, i know that there's some people out there who might like this look personally it's not my favorite like i said i actually prefer this one as a topper but i'm not a hundred percent sure if this is what opi intended Next up, we have Feel the Magic, and it is a beautiful pink cream. For this one, it's a little tiny bit streaky. I ended up needing three coats here also, but I don't think that everybody's going to need three coats. I did very, very thin coats, so that's why I think that I needed that third coat. I feel like if I would have gone in maybe with a thicker second coat, I definitely could have gotten away with just two. 
Um, so yeah, I don't feel like everybody's going to need three coats for this one. I was just working in really thin coats because I really didn't want to flood my cuticles. So um, yeah, I don't think everybody's going to need three here. I like this pink. It's a beautiful pink. I'm okay with it. This is a Barbie collection. So of course I want to see all the pinks and this one is a pretty one. So yeah, I like this color. It's very, very pretty. It was easy to work with and it's just a cream. So nothing is going to be difficult to remove here at all. Now we've got Best Day Ever, and this one is another frosty finish like the blue one that we just saw, and I am putting it over Feel the Magic, and once again, I really like how this combo looks. It's very, very pretty. I am once again going to show you what this color looks like on its own because I'm not sure if OPI intended for this to be a topper or a standalone polish. I'm assuming they intended for it to be a standalone polish. But either way, I wanted to show you how it looked both ways, and I prefer them as toppers. Now we're going to see how this one looks built up. Again, on the first coat, it's just super sheer. You just get a little bit of that shimmer on there. Um, the second coat, you get a tiny bit of the pink tint, but it just, to me, looks kind of messy. Um, on the second coat, and I feel like if you went in for a third coat, it would look even messier. I don't know. Just, just this frosty finish just looks like dented on the nails to me. If you know what I'm talking about, comment down below because it's so hard to describe. Next up, we've got Welcome to Barbie Land, and we've seen OPI do shades like this quite a bit, but once again, this is a Barbie collection, and I'm perfectly okay with pink colors like this. I like this one. It's really pretty, very shimmery, very shiny. It's a pretty color, a little bit sheer on the first coat, but I did get full opacity on the second. I feel like maybe if your nail line is a little bit uh, more white or, you know, more prominent, then you will need a third coat, but I was good with this one in just two. Once again, really good color for a Barbie collection. Next up, we have Hi Ken, and um, I just wanted to say, you guys, thank you so much for putting up with my voice throughout this video. It is just going in and out constantly. <laughs> but anyway, back to the polish. This one is a yellow. We all know that yellows typically require three coats, and I did need three coats for this one. But the formula on it was pretty good. No issues with it whatsoever. It was an easy three coats. I'm kind of wondering why we have a yellow in a Barbie collection, unless they're thinking of blonde hair or something like that. I don't know, but I feel like this one just kind of shouldn't be here. Um, I don't know. I, I would have liked to see something different. Normally, I'm happy about yellows in a collection. Like, I don't care about how many yellows we get in a collection. I'm happy. But I feel like for a Barbie collection, it doesn't 100% make sense to me. So I would really love to know what OPI was thinking here by putting this color into this collection. Next up, we have Hi Barbie, and this is a, another beautiful pink cream. Once again, it's a Barbie collection, so I'm glad to see it. It has a really good formula. I got complete coverage in two easy coats. I do want to mention that beyondpolish.com does have this collection available, and all the polishes are $8.75, so that is cheaper than you're going to find them at Ulta and other retailers. And you can save even more by using my code NLT10. That saves you 10% off of individual shades. And it is an affiliate code. So if you use it, you are supporting me and my channel. And I really appreciate it. I will have Beyond Polish linked in the description box below for you. Next up, we have Every Night is Girls Night. And it's another um, frosty 
glitter polish this one has more chunky glitters than the other ones i'm putting it over high barbie and i think it looks very nice this way um, i am again going to show it to you on its own just so you can see how that looks but i do prefer it as a topper here Looking at it in the bottle, I wish that this one had more pink to it. As you can see here on the first coat, it is sheer, but you do get quite a bit of those glitters out. They are glitter, so they are going to be a little difficult to remove. So I would suggest using a peel off base coat or you're going to have to probably soak these off. Um, like I said, there's not much color to this one. It's mainly silver. So I don't know. I think it would have been nice to have a pink tinted base here at least. Overall, though, I think this one is my least favorite of the collection. I just really don't like these glitters that OPI uses quite a bit in their polishes, unfortunately. And here we have the entire OPI Project B Barbie collection. There you have it, guys. Swatches of the OPI and Barbie the Movie collection. What did you guys think of these? Overall, I think the polishes are fine. There's nothing wrong with them but there's also nothing exciting about them. I feel like when you're collaborating with Barbie, this is the time to go all out with pink polishes. Normally, I get a little annoyed when brands do a ton of pink in collections, but for this specific collaboration, I feel like all pink would have been the way to go. I feel like we should have gotten many variations of pink finishes you know i especially wish that we would have gotten pink glitter bombs instead of these um like frosty shimmery finishes these kind of polishes are just not my favorite the ones that i'm holding up are yay space and best day ever these are just not my favorite polishes they look frosty they look very old-fashioned and they usually just look good as a topper and not so much built up on their own. OPI does a lot of these kind of frosty finish polishes like this and they are just not my favorite. I really wish that instead of those polishes, we had gotten some glitter bombs, like a pink glitter, maybe even a blue glitter bomb to, you know, get rid of this one. I don't know. I just feel like for this Barbie collaboration, we should have gotten just, oh, we should have gotten more. I heard from the Barbie movie that they actually created a shortage in pink paint because of their set, which was so heavily saturated with pink paint so i just feel like opi should have really gone in with all pink like we didn't need the blues we definitely didn't need this you know nude color we didn't need the yellow although maybe they're going for the blonde hair here and maybe the blue is geared more towards ken i don't know but i feel like this collection should have been all pinks and full of all different kind of finishes. This would have been so much more exciting had they done something like that. Don't get me wrong, I think the polishes are fine on their own. They perform perfectly fine, but I just feel like OPI missed the mark here. I feel like they just could have done a little bit more. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this collection. Do you agree with me? Do you think that they really should have gone all out with pink? Or are you loving these polishes? You guys know I love to discuss anything nail polish related in the comments down below with you. So please be sure to let me know your thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.